Orientalist work or paintings or exhibitions tend to go down a negative uh, route usually. Uh, there's always a lot of worry about it being controversial or about it being uh, having negative impact. Um, but for us, I think it's it's very positive. We either we see the positive in it or we just enjoy it. We see it from a different perspective. So we're looking at things that we feel are um, that we enjoy looking at because they, they are accurate or they are familiar or they have um, a real sense of if, if historical value to them. We renew many, many things here. In the, in the museum, we had to close the museum for, for almost nine months to prepare it to be as well as what you can see now. Everybody can see it. It is a world-class museum. The, the climate control system, the security system. The biggest collections of this Orientalist art are actually in the Middle East. And uh, quite clearly, the people here don't feel offended by them. They are pleased to see their own past recorded. They identify with them and uh, get a great good deal of enjoyment out of them. <laughs> First, if you take this painting because the qualities are a nice production of painting, that's something you cannot deny. But as a document, it's very easy to make critic on those uh, paintings because they have been made for the taste of the, uh, of the certain society who are going to buy them. Uh, oriental people are uh, people of language, of words. So the image are not really in their tradition. And their tradition is the words. Should have been more fabulous that they have brought a lot of text and books with this exhibition. <laughs>